Um, well, I thought today was a testament to a lot of character. I thought um, the way we battled throughout the course of the game, first half and second half, uh, showed a lot of resiliency, showed a lot of character. We came back, we fought back. Uh, there's a lot of ebbs and flows, a lot of ups and downs uh, throughout this game. And I thought we, uh, thought we did a good job of responding um, to the ups and downs of, of, of uh, you know, making big shots, getting big stops, vice versa. I just thought this was a 15, 15 round about, and uh, unfortunately, we just came up, uh, came up a little short. All right. Obviously, um, you got big contributions from several uh, players on the stretch, especially seniors. Aubrey had a stretch of baskets there. Uh, Hendricks made a big shot. Uh, Sledge made big shots. What was it like to see them uh, get those uh, looks and make those shots to prolong the game? Uh, being so well, I, I'd probably say I'd probably say this game was the the biggest chess match of any game all year. Uh, I thought there were this probably the most adjustments that were made uh, throughout the course of the game from the first half carrying over to the second half, last couple of possessions. And um, I thought A.B. And, and Tavares uh, did a good job of adjusting to their double in the post. Then they decided to front. Then they decided to play somebody small. Then they decided to play somebody big. So there was a lot of adjustments that we had to make throughout the course of the game. And, and because those guys had a great game, showed the fact that those guys are able to adapt um, in big situations, especially tonight. Yeah, and how much, how much did uh, Aubrey end up having to go to the bench trying to change the, the plan, that, I guess, so to speak, with those chess moves? Well, I mean, any any time anytime one of your best post players goes out, it's, it's really going to stunt your, your rebounding opportunities. Um, it's going to stunt a lot of our um, options within our motion, which is what we tried to do a lot tonight. It's going to stunt a lot of opportunities um, to get the ball into the post. Um, I thought Kyle did a good job of coming in and um, you know, acting as a cushion for the last uh, couple of minutes and even over into overtime. But yeah, I mean that's it, it, a part of the game. You know, he, he fouls out, and uh, now we have to make another chess move. And um, Kyle came in, and I thought he did a nice job. All right, and um, on that, on that last shot there, uh, kind of looked good there. What did you kind of see from your vantage point on the play? Was that the play you guys wanted? And yeah, we, we we drew up a play um, to get uh, a. a at late in game, t typically coaches say switch everything, um, especially when you have a six eight six nine center who can who can shoot threes. Um, we wanted to expose at a at a fast rate uh, a switch and get a small guard on Tavares, and we got what we wanted. But there was just a little bit more movement away from the ball on to Keith. Keith got a, a a nice look, gave it up to Javon for a wide open three, and we got the shot we wanted. I mean to. Uh, Javon had a tremendous second half. He came back and he he just his shot was just as good as any at that point. Wide open three wasn't contested. Just didn't go in. Um, that's just the way the game goes sometimes. It just didn't fall for us. Right. And kind of um, what what's kind of the message that uh, the, both the seniors that are leaving and kind of some of the guys that you're going to have back for next year? What did you tell them after the game? Well, today was a, a testimony of the character that I felt like we had on this year's team. Did we struggle? Yeah. Did did everything go our way this this year? No. But you know what? We're we're in the business and life of curveball management. You know we've got to handle um, swings that that come our way that we're not expecting. And I thought that those guys battled through a lot of adversity this year. I told the seniors that I was proud of of how they handled that last game because that was a, a signature game to show how are you gonna how are you gonna leave your legacy at USC Aiken. Um, we didn't end up getting the win, but I thought that they, they left with their, with their heads up high because they gave everything they got.